Welcome back to Mason Talks. So, another weird story. Alright, cool. So this story was from last week. Something just fell over. So this story was from last week. From where? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see. From Tokyo, Japan. In his efforts to create the world's first something. I don't know why you'd call it that. A Japanese chef decided to give human feces a fighting chance in the kitchen. Cause like, why not? I mean, honestly. <laughs> of course, he created some poop flavored curry. You know what? There is a lot of food that I would eat in poop flavored. All right, let me let me rephrase that. If any food, I would not want to eat. If I had to eat one food that tasted like poop, it would not be curry or like chili or I can't think of anything else like that, but like you get what I'm saying, right? I wouldn't want curry or poop flavored curry. Um, there's that is qu a day what do you what's the phrase? There's that would you rather question which is would you rather eat poop flavored chocolate or chocolate flavored poop? And it's still, I'm still shocked that some people would answer chocolate flavored poop. I mean, like, honestly, like, what is with that? The question is, would you rather eat disgusting chocolate or delicious poop? And some people would rather have delicious poop over disgusting chocolate. At least one is a food, jeez. Well, I mean, poop was, used to be a food. The chef placed the nauseating plate on the menu despite negative feedback from its own marketing survey. I wonder why the poop flavored curry would get negative feedback. <laughs> Out of 400 young adults, only 5.7% said that they were excited to go- wait, people were excited to go eat the poop? This is the world that we live in. 5.7% <laughs> were excited to go, while a whopping 75%- a whopping 75% said they would never step foot in the restaurant that serves poop curry. I wonder why. About 10.5% of those asked said that they weren't totally turned off by the idea of hoop flavor curry, but they would still never step foot in the restaurant. I, you know, okay. I would consider eating the poop flavored curry. <laughs> as long as I know it's curry and not actually poop, I'd try it at least. Like, bro, don't look at me. Well, I mean, I guess it's your decision on whether or not you'd eat the poop. Eat the poop poop. And they even served the poop curry on a toilet bowl shaped bowl. Delicious. <laughs> I don't know why I said it. Now I'm gonna list my five foods that I would eat if they were poop flavored. Every time I say this, it sounds like I'm wanting to eat poop. If I was br if I was forced, if there's a guy who was like threatening to murder me if I didn't eat five poop flavored items, here are the five I would eat. Chocolate, bananas, anything that's not a liquid. <laughs> Can't think of anything else, but you know, that's uh, the point I'm trying to make is, as long as it's not like, br like liquid, like, would you eat poop oatmeal? Jeez, like, oh, like, oatmeal is enough like vomit already. You don't want to make it poop flavored. That's what, I, like, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> and in the comment section, what food you would eat if it was poop flavored? If you're brute forced to eat it, not because you want to eat poop. So I'm trying to trying to get that point across. You're not trying to eat poop, but if you were forced to eat poop, I just can't say this. I, it's hard. If you were threatened to be murdered, what food would you eat if it was poop? Uh, comment. Yeah. All right. Give me a high five, Mason. Yeah. Shockingly below five star restaurant in Tokyo, Japan, serving poop curry. All right. Thanks for watching Basic Talks. Make sure to subscribe to Basic Talks. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.